your YouTube back again with another video. So yeah, just a quick update with the overclock on my Ryzen 7 3700X. And loads of people, especially on Reddit, and I read through the YouTube comments saying that the last video, the previous video that I done with the 4.45 gigahertz um, at 1.36 volt is way too high way too high um, but if I put everything on auto auto and back to default in the BIOS setting you know it it, it boosts up to 1.4 volts anyways um, for 4.1 gigahertz all cores so you know 1.4 1.36 you know is actually lower than 1.4 but anyways here's the updated videos um of uh, 4.4 gigahertz on the 3700x so you click on the os um i mean oc overclock settings i've got a 44.25 ratio i left bcl okay the base clock on auto now so this is all the same settings, the the memory is all the same setting and then I left it at 1.2875 and it basically it's basically 1.3 volts so this should make everyone happy now instead of running at 1.36 uh, volt I'm running at 1.3 volt and it's uh, stable I can tell you it's stable right just gonna boot into Windows now because, um, yeah, because I was running Cinebench this morning and then also I played a few games of Warzone and yeah, everything was, everything was fine, you know, I'm still getting the same frame rate, so that's good, right? And um, yeah, instead of running at 4.45 gigahertz, I'm running at 4.4 gigahertz, so... You know, I'm happy, everyone's happy. So you are click on Cinebench now and open uh, CPU Z. I can show you exactly what's going on. Right. So, zoom in on this Ryzen 7 3700X. 4.425 gigahertz at 1.3 volts. 1.3 volts should be in the safe voltage. Should be. So I click run. Bear in mind, in the 4.45 gigahertz, I was getting a Cinebench R20 score of 5,400. And I think with this overclock, 0 0.05 gigahertz less, I get around 5,300. So does it really make a difference in game? Probably doesn't, but it's nice to have that 0 0.05 gigahertz extra. But again, I have to use more voltage. So is it worth it to degrade the CPU? And many people saying, ah, oh, but look, uh, Ozzy, by a year's time, your CPU will be degraded. Yeah, but by a year's time, I'll probably upgrade a CPU anyways. So I don't know. I'm, uh, to me, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm quite conflicted with this issue. You know, so I keep it at 4.45 gigahertz at 1.36. Or should I just leave it at 4.4 at 1.3 volts? And the score is 5,321 points. So I'm getting around 79 points less than my previous overclock. And I've been running Warzone Apex this morning, completely fine, 1.3. So that should make everyone happy. You know, I'm not saying in my, in my previous video, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not telling everyone to, oh, run it at 24-7 at a time at 100% load. Bear in mind, 
you know, I'll probably be watching YouTube video, you know, <laughs> editing Word document, and it won't be on 100% load, um, you know, all the time. I get it, if it was running in a server, running at 1.36 volt in my previous video, 24-7, 100% load, you know, um, on all the cores, on all eight cores, then maybe, maybe it will degrade a lot. But if you want to get a stable overclock, or an overclock with uh, less voltage, sorry, I guess this is uh, one of the, if it will focus, one of the safer routes to go. But I'll probably still revert it back to 1.36 and keep it on. 4.5, uh, 4 uh, sorry, 4.45 gigahertz, because I like the number better. But yeah, that's about it. A quick update on my video. I guess I'll see you guys next time.